Now to a staffing crisis impacting our local prisons. Both U.S. Senators from Colorado are calling on the federal government to take action. The Supermax in Florence houses some of the nation's most notorious criminals, but with dozens of vacancies plaguing the facility, elected leaders say that keeping it safe is tougher than ever. Investigative reporter Dan Beatty joins us live in studio with more on what those senators are asking for. Dan? In a recent letter to federal prison directors, Democratic Senators Michael Bennett and John Hickenlooper are sounding the alarm about, quote, unsustainable working conditions at the federal prison complex in Florence. To fix this, they're demanding pay increases for all of Florence's federal prison employees, and it's not just guards. One of the things I've been trying to... Last month, staff from United States Senators Michael Bennett and John Hickenlooper toured the Florence Correctional Complex in Fremont County. Just two weeks later, the senators co-authored this letter to the Federal Bureau of Prisons Director. In it, the senators expressed concerns about low pay, forced overtime, and dangerous working conditions, and the impacts it's all having on safety, recruitment, and hiring. According to the letter, the federal prisons in Florence are short by 188 correction staff, everyone from guards to kitchen contractors. It's a similar situation to the one playing out in our state prisons, where 13 investigates learned that vacancies for corrections officers in Colorado more than quintupled from June 2021 to June 2022. Now, the senators are requesting an across-the-board pay raise to address this situation in Florence. We've been working closely with Bennett and Hickenlooper's offices for 18 months. John Bukovich is the union president for staff at the Florence Correctional Complex. We, we had the senator staff out and toured uh, the complex two weeks ago so they could see it firsthand. And what they reported back to uh, their bosses in D.C., the, the senators, it actually sped this letter up because they saw the absolute need and concern for this. Back in July, after a round of picketing, Florence Corrections officers received a 25% retention bonus. Bukovich says it's helped with hiring. And now he believes the same needs to be done for the rest of the prison staff. A fully staffed prison is a safe prison. And until we're 100% fully staffed, it's not going to be as safe as it could be. I'm not saying it's unsafe, but a fully staffed prison is a safe prison. 13 investigates reached out to the Federal Bureau of Prisons. We are still waiting on a response. In their letter to the Bureau, the senators say they expect a response to their concerns and payroll requests no later than December 20th. Reporting live in the studio, Dan Beatty, 13 Investigates. Soon they shall have answers. Dan, thank you.